What's going on Chicago Bears fans? I'm your host Harrison Graham here on Bears Now. Back with a second video of the day. We've been doing that a lot recently because news continues to unfold. A couple more coaches have been hired. So I thought we would hit on that news and then kind of go through the Bears coaching staff tracker the hires already made and then some rumors around some coaches that could be coming down the pipe next. Okay, Ian Rappaport uh, had this one as the Bears have hired a wide receivers coach. Uh, former Giants wide receivers coach Tyke Tolbert is on board. He will also have the title of passing game coordinator, according to sources, a very respected assistant who excels at developing talent. And you look at a guy like Tyke Tolbert, who's been around uh, five different NFL franchises for the better part of 20 years. He was with the Cardinals back in 03. Bills from 04 to 09. Carolina in 2010. Really love his stint in Denver. You think about Demarius Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders, Wes Welker, all the different guys that were there developed and played at a high level, especially DT and Sanders. He's been around some good players. Yeah, this year the Giants receivers weren't great. They were also injured as well. Tolbert's been around for a while. You don't stick around in the NFL as a position coach for 20 years by accident. Plus, I've seen some chatter that uh, he could be an offensive coordinator in the near future, which is probably why he was intrigued by this job, because he got the passing game coordinator title. Uh, this is a well-respected coach in the league, and uh, any guy, anytime you can get guys who have been in the NFL for two decades, that's very, very good. Now, name a receiver the Bears should sign or draft this offseason. Obviously, it's position of need after Darnell Mooney. He's the only uh, proven guy on the roster. Let me know. Name and free agency, a draft. Hell, you can throw a trade out there as well. Name a receiver that is not currently on the roster that you would like to see in 2022. Okay, uh, this news from a little bit earlier. We uh, recorded that video, pushed it out, and then literally five minutes afterwards, the Bears announced that they have hired Chris Morgan as the offensive line coach. Again, a guy who's been around not quite as long, but as an assistant O-line coach in a lot of places and as an offensive line coach as well. Got his start with the Raiders back in 2009. Uh, was there for a couple of years. Then he went to Washington, uh, was in Seattle for a year. Then six years under... Dan Quinn in Atlanta, and they had some good offensive lines. Assistant O-line coach in Pittsburgh this year. That group wasn't great, but it's a one-year type of deal. He's an experienced guy. And obviously, uh, the Bears uh, better have hit here because the offensive line, uh, that is critical moving forward. That is a uh, position of focus for Ryan Poles, the new general manager. That is a group that you have to solidify over the next couple of years. By the way, thank you guys so much. We crossed 42,000 subscribers. A little round of applause for you guys. That was the goal from earlier video. And hey, we keep the train moving here. Let's get to 43,000 subs ASAP. Subscribe. Hit that big red button. Hey, we'll keep doing multiple videos per day as news and rumors continue to unfold. So thank you. And if you haven't subbed yet, join the movement because we are not slowing down anytime soon. Okay, let's get to the Bears coaching staff tracker. Uh, Matt Eberflus, he's the head coach. We all know that. Had his presser on Monday. His first big hire, Luke Getze, the offensive coordinator. I continue to hear good things about this guy. I think he's going to de design an offense specifically for Justin Fields. Chris Morgan, we mentioned, he is now the offensive line coach, comes over from Pittsburgh, where he was the assistant OL coach there. He was also the O-line coach in Atlanta. Tyke Tolbert, same deal. We just talked about him. He's been around for 20 years with five different franchises. He'll also be the passing game coordinator. Uh, and then Alan Williams, uh, the main defensive coach that's been he is the defensive coordinator, and Matt Eberflus mentioned during his Monday press conference that uh, Williams, uh, he didn't mention Williams at the time because the hire wasn't official, but that the defensive coordinator will call the defensive plays on game day. Now you move forward, and there's another uh, a couple of hires uh, uh, in the works uh, as well. We'll get to those, but quarterbacks coach is the next priority. That is the next priority for the Chicago Bears. Obviously, it was a bit of a bummer when we found out this morning uh, that uh, the Bears missed out on Joe Brady, who interviewed yesterday. He is heading to Buffalo. Ian Rappaport uh, had that note earlier today that uh, he will be the quarterback's coach to replace Ken Dorsey with the Bills. Obviously, the Bears uh, had focused on him, but now it's uh, on to plan B, which is fine. I'm not too worried there, but uh, that is probably the biggest position left to fill, that and the special teams coordinator. I think those are two positions uh, that the Bears really uh, – need to nail down. Are you excited about Luke Getze, though? I'm sure you guys have read a lot. We've talked about him quite a bit here. Sure, he hasn't called plays in the NFL, but you hear, I mean, Aaron Jones earlier today, Packers star running back, was talking about how much of an offensive genius and players coach he is. I think he's going to be great here. Type Y for yes, type N for no. 
I'm very fired up about Luke Getze, so get your yeses in. And if you're typing in for no, man, you're probably a Packers fan or something like that. Hey, Valentine's uh, Day is around the corner. We have a deal on this uh, Chicago Bears long sleeve shirt. I don't know about you fellas out there, but my wife loves wearing, uh, you know, big T-shirts. You know, she's always pulling uh, shirts out of my uh, drawer at the house. Just get her one of these. Here's what I do. Trick to save money. Buy the shirt that fits your size. You give it to her, but then you both get to wa wear it. It's a great, it's a win-win. It's a two-for-one deal. Get this specific uh, long sleeve today. Chatsports.com slash bears long, as in long sleeve. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. 25% off, usually over $30. Right now, it's $22.79. Check out that link in the comments into the description. Chatsports.com slash bears long. Okay, let's take a look more at the coaching tracker. Dave Borgonzi is the linebackers coach. That got confirmed today by the Bears. He is and he is on board. Uh, other, these other guys not confirmed are in the rumors category. James Rowe is the quarterback's coach. I think this is happening. It's not confirmed, but I'm pretty sure he will be on board. Uh, we'll see about David Overstreet. I've seen him rumored as a potential safeties or some kind of defensive backs coach. That's been rumored out there. I think there's a good chance that happens. Rod Marinelli, who served as the defensive line coach in Vegas for the past couple of years, uh, that has been rumored as well. Him and Eberflus go way back. He's a mentor of Eberflus. I think that would be a good hire. Uh, and then Rich Bisaccia, who's uh, served as the interim head coach in Vegas, is one of the best special teams coaches in the NFL. Uh, I think they uh, that's been rumored, reported that they are interested in him. He interviewed in Jacksonville for their head co coach opening, so he's probably going to wait and see if that happens. But if it doesn't, then I think getting him is a possibility, and that would be a damn good hire because he did a good job uh, amidst a lot of chaos in Vegas this year. Again, I'm pretty sure James Rowe is in. I think he will be on this staff. It just hasn't been uh, contracts finalized or, uh, you know, uh, that hasn't been confirmed, but uh, pretty sure uh, that it is trending in that direction. So James Rowe likely on staff, but still, you know, a couple of, uh, you know, position groups uh, to fill as we still go forward here. But Bears are moving quickly, very, very quickly. Now, I mentioned that uh, quarterbacks coach is the next big one. So, you know, I'm just throwing some darts here. Three names here. Uh, hey, Jim Caldwell, uh, the Bears blog mentioned him. Hey, why, why not, right? You know, the Bears liked him throughout the hiring process. Sure, they didn't pick him as head coach. They didn't pick him as offensive coordinator. But if he really wants to coach, then, hey, maybe – Come be the quarterback's coach for a year or two, and maybe you get an OC or head coach gig down the road. You never know. Andrew Janoko, who's in the uh, uh, NFC North as the Vikings QB's coach, once they uh, finalize their next head coach, whether that's Jim Harbaugh or someone else, uh, I think uh, he will be available. I've heard that name rumored potentially uh, to Chicago. And then how about Pep Hamilton? I know he said uh, it kind of sounded like it was OC or bust for him, but depending on what the Texans do with their head coach hire, Maybe they don't want to keep Pep Hamilton, and maybe he becomes available and is a possibility. Now, Pep Hamilton is interviewing uh, with the Giants for uh, offensive coordinator, uh, but uh, he's uh, he's been at a lot of places, including recently the XFL head coach. But uh, he is very, very well respected, and obviously the Bears uh, do like him, and he's been on the Bears coaching staff in the past as well. Grade the Bears coaching staff so far. Still some moves to make as we go forward here. Get that red pen out. A, B, C, D, or F. I like it for the most part. I'll put it in like the B category. Obviously, uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, how things end up shaking out on that front. But give me an A, B, C, D, or F. Grade this Bears coaching staff so far and let me know how you guys feel about it down in the comment section all right give me a follow on instagram at hgram nfl it's at hgram nfl i appreciate it by the way i just want to verbally mention this champ kelly a uh, former bears front office executive he is joining the las vegas raiders uh, as assistant GM. So congratulations to Champ Kelly uh, for getting that gig. There was a lot of rumors there that he could be heading to Las Vegas. So he is heading there. So kudos to him. We'll see how Ryan Poles continues to fill out the rest of the Bears front office. Again, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, same handle, at HGramNFL. More Bears videos to come here on Chicago Bears Now.